What's up, guys? That was a little starter right there. Um, what's up, guys? This is Tamara here, and with another Phoenix Wright part episode thing, um, we're getting ready to hear Miss D. Vasquez's testimony. I'm pretty solidified on my thoughts that she was the one who killed, uh, Jackhammer. I'm seriously, that's my final thoughts. I believe she did it. There's no way the director did it. I think she did it. Just because of that whole mafia stunt she pulled last episode and the picture and everything, I. I believe she did it, so let's get on with this. Alright, the day of the murder, her testimony. Okay. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. There were, I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Why do I always have to burp on talking? Mmm. Ugh. Ugh. Gosh, I should be just renamed Phoenix Wright Burp Attorney. Because that's all I do. Well, I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you. The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio Two. Oh, yeah. I forgot about it. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk with that, with the monkey's head toppling over. Oh yeah, I forgot about this van. I, I see. Very well, Mr. Roy, your cross examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. Yeah, final battle. Huzzah! We can do this. I believe in ourselves. We've come this far. We can't die now. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. Hold it! Alright, we're gonna press everything. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in the employee area? No. Are you always this terse? Yes. Oh dear. Oh gosh, she's gonna be so vague. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. Did no one leave during the meeting? Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. Objection. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. And please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of sucks. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. What exactly was that? I'd forgotten. Maybe you could try remembering? No. The meeting ended at four. The rehearsal was scheduled for five. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Hedgeworth. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. Hold on! Hold on! You had Sal take you? What does that mean? It means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the Studio 2 van. Oh, alright. We just heard that. Why would I do that? At 2.30, we took a 15 minute break in the evening. I mean, meeting. Damn it. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. <laughs> It was a 15-minute break. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. N no I need someone else! One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. That rhymed. If I had some evidence, I'd prove she didn't eat that steak. Well, Nick, find anything? I kind of wish she'd said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to be pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said somewhere. I entered the trailer. Okay. Oh man, crap. We're gonna have to um. Ugh. Oh man. Now we gotta. Okay. The meeting began at 12. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was so fatigued. I had Sal take me at 2:30. We took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Here, um, oh gosh, I, I, I don't even know. Um, well, 
Um. Well, wake up in the. No, I'm not singing that song. Sound IT but six is going from the trailer. Found the employee area. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Okay, um, <laughs> steak plates. Huh, she ate team and steaks on the table in front of the trailer. Um, I don't know. Did were they laced with okay. sleeping pills? Ha! Huh, as I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak, but I say you did not. What? What's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee room. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you, it, it was a T-bone steak. Exactly my point. Remember if you will. Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. I keep forgetting about checking those plates, but... Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare! Uh-oh. <laughs> that was a derp face she just made. Wow. Miss Vasquez? Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how! You ate the bone too. <laughs> you ate a boneless steak. What would that even... Like, why? You ate a boneless steak. What would that even mean? And you can't physically eat a bone, can you? Okay, well, I'm just gonna say she didn't eat it. That's only plausible one. You didn't eat any steak during that break! You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like the incinerator! Uh-oh. That dirt face she makes is funny. I... I see! Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Picking on Salmonella? Oh my gosh, no. We're gonna say meeting the Steel Samurai. It's obvious. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai! Order! Are you saying... Yes, Your Honor. Has Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak? She ran into the Steel Samurai! And then you did it! You killed him with your own hands! I like that dirt face, it's so funny looking! <laughs> but Mr. Wright! Isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunts are you trying to pull, Wright? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick! Here we go. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, the samurai spear. Yes? I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? Uh, I think you could. You could, could you? I don't know. I guess she couldn't. I mean, if that kid couldn't do it, and if the spear is that big, I guess she couldn't. I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Ha. Huh. You see. Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? Wait, what? It, it wasn't? Where am I going with this? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the steel samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. Because it was... broken? Is that it? Yeah, I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. But, but that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that this spear broke during the morning action scene run-through? But someone fixed the spear. It was a security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Yeah, that is kind of... Uh, I, I didn't think about that, actually. Order! Order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're... Silence. I'm the one testifying here, and I will be heard. <laughs> are you quite sane? Are you... Uh, I mean, are you even aware of what you're saying? 
If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Roy, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? I... involving Jack Hammer. I don't know, man. These little kunai little gardens, like, spiky things, seem pretty legit. Wait a minute! What if when she, the Steel Samurai met Dee Vasquez, she made this accident right here happen again with Jack Hammer? But then, how would the body be moved to Studio One, because that's where it was found? I, I think it's these things, because, like, if someone were to impale themselves into them, like this guy here, then you don't even have to lift a finger. Except to like, I guess push them or something. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna, okay, I can tell you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna suggest that. Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Roy. Very well, let's see this murder weapon then. I think it's in this picture. Look at this photo. What, what is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. That's not the point, Your Honor. <laughs> oh, order! Order! If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close-kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth. You still can't see it? See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? But what? what are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Yep, I kind of figured. Has happened again! Yep, I kind of figured. I mean, it was. Oh man, we're piecing this together so badly. We are getting this down. Mr. Roy, continue! It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it! She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence! Just like Mr. Hammer had done him himself done five years ago! Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. Uh, in other words, the, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago! Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Ho oh, ho, very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny what I say is true? Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of argument that Hammer died at the trailer as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? Uh oh. The break in the. I mean. <laughs> uh, my voice is getting mixed up. The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Jack Hammer had been pushed off the stairs to his death and carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume. There wasn't enough time. Mmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Roy, how could she have dealt with the body? <sighs> I bet she could have moved it if she had another way or she couldn't deal with it. If she couldn't deal with it, it would be at Studio 2. It would just be there at Studio 2, so that's not right. She, if she had another way... Hmm, or I bet she could move it. What about that van? This thing. We used to drive past across the Studio 1 after the meeting what about this van? Couldn't they have just used the van to move the body? Okay, she had another... Would it be she had another way? I guess it is. What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? For instance? Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body! I interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. It's that van, I know it is. Take that! Miss Vasquez, you carry the body to Studio One. And you use the Studio Van to do it! Uh oh. Yeah, we're getting closer. We are so getting closer to the truth. Oh my gosh, I can feel it! Recall your testimony. 
There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van right there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the magistrate costume! Objection. Hold on, right. Don't forget it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Of course he was. Actually, yeah, he could have been working with her to do it, so they both are in on it. And he listened to whatever she said. No matter what it was, he always was a dog of her words, so yes. Of course Sal Manella has a, have to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I lose. You win. It was fun. Wait, what? I win? So what happens now? Um, so what happens next? Okay, almost my exact words. I like it when I do that. When I say something, I'll say it next. Question mark? <laughs> Don't question mark me! Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that? I just said that. Well, wait, so you mean... D. Vasquez, so it was you? You killed Jack Hammer? This is awkward. Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did, Mr. Wright? We just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle? You proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. R right! But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 Damn it! I thought we won! I, I was gonna say, wow, that was pretty easy. <laughs> Water! Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Um, uh, mm. uh. Of course, it's as the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but, uh, there's no proof. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. Urk! What do I do now? You did it? Testify again, no further questions. Um... You did it. I know she did it, but how do I prove it? I can't just say that she did it without proof. She's already proven that. No further questions? Oh, hell no, man. I want you on that stand all day. So I guess we're gonna testify again. Let's see if we can find something else. I... I'd like you to testify again! Testify? Again? No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before, the truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh... You'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn. Damn! To come so far only to fail! I know, this kind of upsets me. I hope we don't lose. As it seems, there are no further questions. On would like to end the cross examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. Objection. What? Um. Huh? Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. I see. Very well. Well, that just. <laughs> well, that was disappointing. I like how the song was just like. Rrr. That was disappointing. I actually thought something was going to happen. He was going to be on my side or something. Oh, wait, what? Your Honor! I request that the witness testify again! You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I... I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth! Aren't you see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself? 
What exactly did you want her to testify about? <clears throat> well, yes, um... Indeed. Verily I say, ergo. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. <clears throat> Nick, why did Edgeworth... Who knows? He probably realized she did it too. But, but... Wasn't he the one that... <coughs> uh. Oh my gosh. <coughs> Almost choked on saliva. Okay. Wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that... Hedgeworth. He's helping me. Why? I thought we were enemies. This is interesting. I was with Sal and Oldbag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police. Then Powers showed up. The security lady old bag was quite agitated, pointing at power saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Wow, that's kind of hard. Hmm. Well, I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick, we're close. Real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick! Right. Because that's what I've been doing. <laughs> Trying to do, at least. Trying. Okay, um, after finding the body, here we go. I was with Sal and Olbeck, the security lady, when we found the body. I guess we're gonna press everything again. What time was that? We were to meet at 5 o'clock for the rehearsal, so I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Mr. Manella arrive at the studio? About 10 minutes before, I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. Hmm. Press harder. Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well, then you could have put Hammer in that costume with Salmonella's help! Oh, what did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into any costumes? You should try to listen to what people are saying, boy. Boy, the witness will continue her testimony. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. And did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember what? There was a dead body lying in front of us. Yet you expect me to be calm. You certainly seemed calm enough when I accused you of murder. <sighs> Press harder. <laughs> Wait a second. Wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around? You discovered a murdered body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm. I well, have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez. Hmm. Logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also... Without his steel samurai costume, Powers didn't really doesn't really stand out. We often let him on the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed he was missing. Poor Powers. Hmm. Well, I suppose that explains that. Very well, Miss Vasquez. You may continue. I immediately called the police. Then Powers showed up. Hold it. What was everyone else doing at the time? No one said a thing. It was silent. Completely silent. So we stood there until Powers finally arrived on the scene. Sorry, sorry I'm late. Then, silence. Dead silence. Like it is now. <laughs> Dead silence. Silent. Hey, hey Nick! Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to light things up! The security lady Olbeck was quite agitated, pointing at Powers saying he did it. Old bag, the security lady. Why did the security lady think Powers had done it? She said because she saw him going toward the studio. Right, Steel Samurai. Oh God, we gotta press hard on every statement she says. Did the detective arrest Mr. Powers based solely on the security lady's word? Perhaps not. She seems to have also given the detective that photograph. Of course, I heard all this after the fact. That photograph, meaning the one taken by the security camera. She's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to Hammer. Hmm. 
Hmm, I don't think there's anything in there I can use. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. You asked to be left out? Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question! Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in a meeting. There was no way we could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us. Covered for you? Or covered it up for you? There must have been a lot of writing on it with all those bigwigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require questioning. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Hold it! Are the script in your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. It's hard. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh, yeah, I guess. Hmm. Very well, Miss Vasquez, please continue. Objection! Your Honor, I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Oh, shit. Edge with you on my side? What? <laughs> what, you're on my side, man? Water, water! Mr. Edgeworth! What you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Hmm. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? Wait a minute! I just picked something together. I didn't know she was allowed to smoke in here. This is a building, after all. A court of law, to be exact. I didn't know she was allowed to smoke. Just my two cents. No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. Wait a minute. She knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so she left them behind. Wait a minute. Where am I? What am I trying to look for? Wait a minute. I should probably press on that. How did she know he was injured? Because if I remember correctly, the only ones in that rehearsal room for that injury that took place was Miss Olbag. I think Salmonella or the assistant. I can't remember. It was one of those. One of those. I think it was Salmonella though, or the assistant. I'm not sure, but I know it was an old bag. It was one of them. It was Mr. Powers, and Mr. Hammer. Only four people were in that room. So how did she know about the injury? Oh well. I guess I'm, I'm gonna press this um, statement right here in the next episode because we're going at half an hour. I kind of want to make this long because I feel like we're at the end. But next episode, I have a good feeling that it's gonna be the end of case number three. Um, Hope you guys like this video, uh, favorite it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully we can get her convicted as a murderer because it seriously seems like she did it. Like, there's just, it's so obvious. But anyways, see you guys in the next episode.